Cameron Moreland, featuring the three-degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. The normal high temperature today is 70 degrees, and some of us got pretty close to that. 68 degrees in Green Bay. We had 68 in Wapaka. It was 67 in Iron Mountain. Closer to the lake, temperatures were in the 50s, and that's where most of us will spend the daylight hours tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven-day temperature trend. The high tomorrow only in the 50s to around 60. It looks like temperatures will warm up into the 60s once we get closer to midnight. We'll see 60s to around 70 on Thursday and Friday, and then it is really going to start to warm up as we make our way through Memorial Day weekend. In fact, on Memorial Day and Tuesday, some spots probably flirting with 90 degrees once again. Today was an absolutely beautiful day. We had mostly sunny skies for much of the morning and afternoon. You can see the blue skies here on the time lapse from earlier today. As you take a look at the cloud cover, you can see that the clear skies that we've had are now giving way to cloudy skies in response to our next weather maker, which is going to move in for tomorrow. Right now it's making its way into southern Oklahoma. We have numerous pockets of rain, showers and thunderstorms here from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up into the central plains and everything is slowly but surely heading off to the north and east. You can see much of Iowa right now is dealing with a steady light to moderate rainfall and where it's cloudy and raining temperatures are cool. 54 degrees in Des Moines, 55 in Kansas City, only mid 40s right now in western Kansas and that cooler weather is going to move north and east along with the clouds and the threat for some rain as we head through Wednesday. I think most of the day will feature temperatures in the mid to upper 50s cooler right near the bay and lake. But as we head into tomorrow night, a gusty northeast wind is going to switch to the south. And I think that many of us could see temperatures getting up to around maybe 63, 64, 65 by the time we get to midnight. Skycast tomorrow morning shows cloudy skies, a chance for some showers, and then on and off periods of rain and showers throughout the day. We'll also have the chance for maybe a clap of thunder as well. Right now, severe weather is not expected across central or eastern Wisconsin. On Thursday, still a chance for some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder once again. When all is said and done, it looks like most areas will probably see about a half an inch to an inch of rain, but locally higher amounts are certainly possible where we do see some thunderstorms. And here in the Fox Valley, we actually do need some rain. We're off to one of our driest maze on record and I'll have more on that coming up on NBC 26 at 6. So tonight thickening clouds not as cold as last night. We will see lows in the 40s instead of the 30s in the 40s. Tomorrow wet and windy 50s to around 60. I think uh, most of us will see our high temperature of the day right around midnight tomorrow night. On Thursday still a chance for showers maybe a rumble of thunder but warmer 60s to around 70. If we can break into just a little bit of sunshine on Thursday it is possible we could see some locations get up into the 70s on Friday. Sun and clouds upper 60s and then the real warm up begins on Saturday. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s. Sun and clouds a chance for a storm on Sunday getting up into the 80s. Sun and clouds a chance for a thunderstorm and then really heating up and it should right? Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial kickoff to summer and it's certainly going to feel like it as we head through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And as I mentioned earlier, some spots on Memorial Day and Tuesday could get awfully close to 90 once again. It is time for a quick break, but when we return fresh off his trip to Asia, President Biden arrives back in Washington ready to hit the campaign trail. But